Uh, my name is Bob Shaner. I am from Northern California in the United States. I work for a contracted company for the Cisco Networking Academy. My involvement is I'm the global competition lead and liaison to the World Skills uh, Organization and I sit on the technical committee. Uh, I have been involved with World Skills International for a year, but in reality I've been researching world skills and observing them for the past six years. And uh, it's been my pleasure to get involved with world skills because of the direction of the organization and where I would like to see it and the value that I personally see and that our, the company that I work for and our group uh, would like to see its advancement. Cisco uh, originally want sponsored uh, equipment. In fact, when the uh, Skill 39 was started in 1999 in Montreal, our Canadian sales office was had a request for equipment uh, to support that particular competition. At that time, we were very uh, funneled in. We were growing so fast. Things were going on. Uh, fine, we knew it was an important thing. We had no idea what World Skills was, be honest. And I was requested, along with uh, my partner of mine at the time from Cisco, to jump in and find routers, switches, and those type of pieces for the competition, which was brand new in Montreal. That awareness uh, of who's using this equipment then started to raise the interest in which then I started doing research what world skills was and then started we all started to move it slightly forward and so then in Helsinki we became a global uh, global sponsored partner for world skills now starting to understand the real vision of what world skills is globally so as Cisco became this we became a global company it only made sense for us to help our customers, which are is anyone that uses the internet, to go ahead and align with the uh, World Skills Organization. I would say that our, our partnership is one that we're very happy with. I'd say that it is a collaborative partnership, that we're there for support, we're there to uh, use World Skills as a sort of a, uh, shall we say, a, a research laboratory to look at how the world looks at our particular uh, skills that we need. We're looking at can, how they can learn them, how they can be administered, how different countries and different areas of the world are using the skills or obtaining the skills that they're going to need to use the equipment to move on the IT careers that, that we know are so, so important. Uh, the Cisco Networking Academy is in 169 countries. Cisco sales offices are only in 89 countries. We have a uh, global office in India now that is the same size as the office in San Jose. Our biggest benefit is we're committed to our customers. Our customers, we look at customers a little bit differently. At Cisco, the, our customers is the world. We know that we, one of our visions and goals is to change the way people play, work, and live. And that's, that's one of our big visions. We feel that we've done that, and we feel that by working with world skills, we can then also measure how well we're doing with that, that goal, which a bunch of us say, we're going to make a difference in the world. Well, we feel we're doing that, and we know that world skills is doing that also. Uh, what I see is a vision for how Cisco and World Skills will continue on uh, together. I see this relationship which is already being developed uh, in that we are a consultant to them. We have resources uh, globally uh, because we are so enthralled or so, shall we say, involved with our customers that we're going to be able to have those resources and share the high technology, the research and development that we're doing that relates to the skills that we need. Years down the road, I see world skills as uh, sort of like what, how the Athletic Olympics have developed, becoming Im important, larger, more ideas open. I see it as an open forum for the globe to check its progress. Notice I said the globe's progress to check on the youth. Are they learning the right things? Are they doing the right skills? Are they preparing themselves for a long and prosperous life?